Well, good morning, Dirtfish Rally friends, and welcome to the opening stage of this year's Rally Sweden. Down there, 600 metres, is the start line. First into the stage, Kali Rovenpera. They haven't got an awful lot of time, the boys here. The road section was quite tight indeed, as you can see. Normally, it's quite relaxed at this point. Uh, not quite so relaxed as Paul. When you see Paul Nagel running around the car like that, you know, you know that it's a tight old road section. Uh, he doesn't run unless he has to, that boy. Keeping warm, Paul, but conditions overnight will suit you guys. Craig? We, see. we have no idea until we get in here, honestly, how, how it'll be, so we'll know shortly. We'll know very, very shortly indeed. Now, what's Paul doing here? He's checking the tyre pressures before they head into the stage. Craig, best of luck today. It's going to be an interesting one. If you saw the pictures from Shakedown yesterday, there was a lot of wet snow falling. We're quite a bit higher up here, though. That snow probably wasn't so sleety. It was probably proper snow. It got very, very cold here overnight, down to round about minus 12, minus 13. It's icy. There should be a good ice base. The big question, as Craig said, how is it going to be on the surface? Is there going to be much loose that they've got to clear away? Well, we'll find out very, very shortly indeed. It's an interesting opening test, but folks are, that's Robin Perra heading in, are Forzo one to watch. One to watch on this event is stage two. Stage two is gonna be really interesting. It is the longest stage of the rally, 27.8 kilometers. Starts off quite bumpy, quite narrow, not quite technical, it's, it's medium technical. It then gets extremely fast indeed. The first pass through stage two could be very, very interesting. If you're brave, if you carry the speed, then you could easily take quite a few seconds out of your competitors. If you're a little bit nervous, well then it's gonna be a tricky one through the opening stage. Forza watches, don't forget, have a little look at the little video in the corner here. If you want more information on this magnificent new Forzo Dirtfish Rally watch, have a look at the uh, link in the bio above. So that's our Dirtfish Forzo one to watch this morning. Who else have we got? Thierry Neuville heading in to the stage. Again, as I said, not a lot of time for the drivers. A tight road section, Martin Wiedegi working on the tires, working on the, not working, checking the tire pressures before they head in. Thierry's in the car, he hasn't got out yet. Looks very calm, very relaxed. Listen, it was a really encouraging shakedown from the Hyundai guys yesterday, both Neuville and Tanak, very, very quick. Indeed, they'll be looking to, well, kickstart their season here this morning after the difficulties in Monte Carlo. Oh, geez, I can stop shouting. Morning, Martin, morning. <laughs> Martin, what are you hearing about the conditions in the stage this morning? Have you heard anything? They looked uh, white, I think. So. White is very good indeed. We won't hold you up too long. We know how busy you are this morning. Yeah, it's very, very white out there. But the encouraging thing, particularly for these first three crews, is that it got very cold overnight. There should be a good ice base, Thierry Neuville. Uh, we're just talking, we're speculating about the conditions out there this morning. What do you think they're going to be like? To be honest, we don't know. We're going to find out after a few corners. I mean, we have some wet who's in the stages and some sections look quite good. Some others uh, doesn't. So, uh, yeah, it will be a bit of a mixture. Shakedown was encouraging, though. <laughs> it was, but uh, yeah, Shakedown was spectacular. Uh, lots of long straights, um, only a few junctions, few corners. So um, we need to stay realistic and uh, just do our race focus on our own and if we get the feeling right I think uh, the performance can be there. Oh yes, good luck today Thierry Neuville. Let's hope it is folks because we really do need to see these high Hyundais working hard and competing with the Ford and the Toyota. That's when rallying is at its very best when you have five or six drivers capable of winning events. Have a look at Thierry Neuville here. Uh, you know, this is a, a very particular pre-stage routine he goes through. You saw him looking at his finger. He, he warms his eyes up as well as warming up his, uh, you know, himself physically. Um, really very particular routine they have to go through. So what have we got in front of us today, folks? We've got seven stages in front of us. We've got 125 kilometers, roundabout 80 miles. 
of competitive distance. We're expecting the temperatures to rise during the afternoon. It might well get back up towards freezing. I could make this afternoon quite interesting. It might get a little bit soft out there this afternoon, but this morning, I think the conditions are not far off perfect out there. That really cold overnight low after the slight thaw of yesterday creates a good deep ice base. And that is exactly what these things love. These Pirelli Soto Zeros with these wonderful spikes on them. Do we call them spikes? We don't, do we? Uh, but, uh, you know, they need the, the, this wonderful tread pattern. It'll clear the loose snow. But for maximum propulsion, maximum grip, these have to be digging into the ice. And uh, yeah, I think there should be plenty of that out there this morning. Jonas Anderson, my goodness me, what an experienced man he is here. Uh, local boy, knows his way around, sat next to Gus obviously on that local rally they did last weekend. Only four snow and ice rallies Gus has competed in, in his career. It was really important for Gus to get that experience. Can we just grab a quick word, Gus? Just how are you feeling this morning? You're looking right. All very good so far. Nice weather. The, uh, it didn't snow, so that's helped us all at the, at, uh, well, for the guys further up the road. So uh, yeah, oh, looking good. It didn't snow and it was very cold. So fingers crossed we've got a nice ice base there. I would say so, yeah. You feeling comfortable? After, you know, it's not, it's not perhaps your preferred surface, but. Yeah, no, no, I still very much enjoy it though. It's something that I really enjoy. So uh, yeah, do what we can. Yeah, he always does. Gus was magnificent, wasn't he, in Monte Carlo. Showed us exactly what he's capable of. And, uh, you know, can he win stages here? Well, that might be a little bit too much to expect. But he'll be looking really, I think, just to get through the event, to keep the car on the road, to set some decent times. Now, Katsuta-san could well be the surprise of the rally. If you listen to Spin the Rally Pod with George Donaldson, George reckons that Katsuta-san could well be on for a podium here. Uh, do you know what? He's very capable of that. He really is very capable of that. There's a lot of pressure on him, though. He had the, the high of the start last year that really culminated in that incredible podium on the Safari Rally. It then got very difficult for Katsuta in the second half of the year. This year started, well, well that's off in Monte, not in the best possible way, but he's possibly the... Uh, the one to watch in terms of maybe a surprise on this event could well be Kat Sutasan. So, folks, there we go. Uh, you know, the stage is about to get underway. Well, it may well be underway already. Robin Perra has already headed the 500 metres from this point up to the start of the stage. Oh, what a weekend we've got in front of us. Perfect conditions, motivated drivers, magnificent rally cars, the best that we could possibly ask for. Don't forget, folks, stick with us at dirtfish.com for all the news as it breaks here at Rally Sweden.